Hello friends, Ohm's Law Series Connected Resistors. Our purpose is verification of Ohm's Law, measurement of three different resistance by voltmeter ampermeter method, comparison of experimental results obtained by connecting these resistors in series with their decoded results. Tools of experiment. Power supply, resistance box, voltmeter, ampere meter, and ohmmeter. Electronic board and connected cables. Let's choose three resistors for the setup of the experimental setup. We will set up a circuit on our electronic board with these resistors. Now let's watch the setup of the experimental setup. After checking our power supply, let's set up our multimeters, voltmeter, ampermeter, and resistance meter, ohmmeter. We will use our thin connecting cables to connect our power supply and multimeters to our electronic board.
When we want to measure resistance, we can connect our ohmmeter directly to the ends of our resistance. The values of the resistors can be determined using the codes of the colors of them. Now, let's set our multimeter as a resistive meter and ohmmeter. One of our output will be from the COM slot and the other output will be from the slot where the omega sign is located. Then we need to adjust our scale accordingly. When we want to verify the ohm's law for a single resistor. We need to place our resistance into our electronic board. Then, connect our voltmeter parallel to the resistance. To connect our ampermeter in series with our resistance. Now we can complete the circuit and connect the power supply. In this case, if we can measure the potential change across the resistor and the current flowing through it, we can verify the Ohm's law. The value of the resistance is the ratio of the change in potential on it to the current passing through it. We will do this for our three resistors. To find the value of R1 resistor, it is necessary to divide the potential difference at its ends by the current flowing through it. Let's do this for R2 and R3.
Let's look at how the three resistors are connected in series with each other. In this way, we can measure the current passing through them by connecting our ampermeter in series with three resistors connected in series. In order to measure the potential chains on the resistors, we need to connect our voltmeter in parallel with our resistors. Or, more practically, we can attach the clamps of our voltmeter to the ends of our resistors. Now, let's look at the measurements when three resistors are connected in series. The same currents will flow over these three resistors, but the potential chains on them will vary according to the values of the resistors. Large resistors will have larger potential variations, while small resistors will have smaller potential variations in proportion to the magnitude of their value. However, the potential change over these three resistors must be equal to the total potential value given by the power supply. Thank you and see you.